Welcome back, guys, to The Great Fox Mandom, a channel dedicated to encouraging men as they enter the most fulfilling time of their lives. Today, we're going to be talking about tying this necktie knot, the Eldridge. Buckle up. Let's talk about it right here in the GFM. All right, guys, here we go. Let's talk about tying the Eldridge knot. First of all, what is it? If you haven't heard of the Eldridge knot, it is kind of a flowery sort of knot. It's not really what I would call a professional knot, so I would wear it only in social situations. 90% of the time when I wear a tie, I wear the full Windsor necktie knot. Uh, only occasionally would I wear the Eldridge knot. Now, you could wear it to like different social situations. Uh, I would not wear it to a job interview, for example but I might wear it to a wedding ceremony if everyone perhaps in the wedding party was wearing it. That might be kind of cool. Now let's talk about the different styles of ties that is appropriate for this kind of knot because there is a difference. I would highly recommend that you only wear, say, solids, okay? Not one with a pattern, and I'll show you why. The way that the knot is made, it's very reminiscent of the petals of a flower. And so if you have a busy tie, it's just gonna get all chaotic. This is what it looks like with a pattern tie. You see, I have this pretty intricate pattern here, which is actually pretty cool. But then when you get up to the knot, boy, it's just a lot of mess there. This looks like a bird's nest around my throat. That's, that's kind of horrible. The thing that makes this knot great is its form. And any pattern that's on the tie itself will detract from that. So prefer solids. Let me give you a couple more examples. This is what it looks like with a regimented striped tie. A little bit better. Not quite as bad as that chaotic pattern thing that we had going on before. Still, you know, this white line that goes on here in the, uh, in the regimental stripe, it shows up here in the knot and it's kind of all janky and awkward, different angles and everything. Just doesn't quite work. Let's try that again with another solid tie. Here it is in black. I kind of like this. It has a very subtle sophistication to it. Now here it is in red, and this is really where the Eldridge shines. You see, with this red color, it almost looks like I'm wearing a rose around my throat, doesn't it? Wondering what to wear for Valentine's Day? You're welcome. But for the tutorial, I'm gonna change back to my standard blue. All right, guys, here we go. There are a couple different ways that people have done this. This is my way. Uh, I will have you know that this is my right hand. This is my left. When I give directions, I will be telling you left side, right side. So first you want to take the fat end of your tie, put it right around your belly button. That's going to stay in place. Normally, ties are tied with the fat end and the skinny end stays in place. This is just the opposite. Skinny end is the workhorse of this time. All right, so what we're going to do, we're gonna start with your right hand on the fat end of the tie. Again, it's gonna be right by your belly button. Make a dimple in this. So use your finger, put it right in, around the center of the tie, make a fold there, and then kind of fold the edges down. So you're having this nice, sexy dimple right there. Put that right over your throat. Skinny end is gonna go right over the top of it, so now I'm changing hands. Now skinny end is on my right. So now that you have this over the fat end, you're gonna put it up and through, make a little granny knot. But you want this end to the end over here on your left. So right hand, left hand, granny knot. The seam side is toward the body. Now it's gonna go behind, switching hands again. Seam is facing out. This is my right hand. Skinny end is now on the right side. Skinny end of the tie, right hand, it's gonna go across the tie. I'm gonna change hands again, so now this is my left hand. You want this edge to be nice and horizontal. You wanna keep that. All right, so now that we have this horizontal part, I wanna keep this nice and snug, because I wanna keep that. Remember, this is reminiscent of the petals of a flower, so this is kinda of like that little bud in the center. Now I'm gonna take the skinny end and go up and through, and I'm just gonna be in my, on my left side again. Okay, so this is the skeleton of your tie now. This is the skeleton of your knot. I want this horizontal edge down here. This forms the skeleton. So now I'm gonna go behind, 
I want to keep a little, I want to keep my thumb here because I'm going to keep some uh, slack because this is going to go up and through. It's going to be a granny nut right there. And I want to position it so that this bottom edge is above that horizontal edge that we we're talking about. I want that as a little reveal and snug that up. Okay, so again, this is my left side. I want to repeat that step again. Remember, we're building out that flower. So this is gonna go back down, and I want it on the same side. Seam is showing. Left hand, seam is showing now. So now, I'm gonna take this, go in toward the throat, toward the neck, I want it to go on this other side. Now that we're here, we're gonna take this, we're gonna do another granny knot just like last time. It's gonna go up through the slack that you've created and you're going to gently pull on that. And you should see how we're getting these different layers. We're getting these different layers, these different flower petals here. Now you have all this excess left. So just get some garden shears and just kind of lop it up. No, 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 don't do that to your tie. No, goodness, no. So this gets tucked around the back and this you just loosen or tighten your tie like that just kind of mess around with it until you get the desired effect then flop your collar down and that is all there is to it guys go ahead and try this knot for yourself see if you like the eldridge knot tell me down below in the comments what social situation you would try this out in and as always guys please don't forget to hit subscribe hit the notification bell so you see what else is coming up in the future thanks a lot see you around in the gfm